He's bound for distant shores Finding kings and creatures That have never been seen before Just when it seems there's no escape Sinbad has a scheme Then Sinbad saves himself as well As Kulak and Hakim From the stormy ocean Sinbad hears his name Some say those who heed the call Will never return again Sinbad finds mystery and Sinbad finds danger The fantastic voyages of Sinbad the Sailor Thank you, all oh generous listeners. But yonder stone statue reminds me of another story. And for this one, there will be no charge. It is a tale of how one man's greedy ambition nearly turned Sinbad the Sailor to stone. Sinbad, what color is Azura's hair? Dark brown. Of course, I haven't seen her since we were children. And a lot can change in ten years. Azira and I were like brother and sister, orphans together in the streets of Baghdad. We had next to nothing, but what little we did have, we shared. Oh, can I believe my eyes? It was the mighty Harun al Sud Caliph of Kazmir. That little girl, she is the very image of my late sister. Is she not, Kamal? Yes, sire. She might well be the fulfillment of the journey that brought us here. Oh, I pray that you are right, Kamal. Bring me the book of the prophecy. Shall Harun Asud meet an orphan of his own blood? Sire, it is your sister's locket. Now the prophecy makes sense. This girl is your long-lost niece, Azira. You were only two when your parents' caravan was attacked by desert bandits. Oh, it's truly a miracle that you survived. Precious Azira, I have found you at last. I will never forget you, Sinbad. That was the last I heard of Azira. Until her wedding invitation reached me. And the man she's marrying, what is he like? I don't know. I only know that his name is Ali. But little did Sinbad realize that at that very moment, the very same Ali was up to no good. Ali! You worthless dog, come back! He has sealed us in! We must find a way out. I see an opening back there. Perhaps there is an escape route. to stone. What evil spell is this? And then, in the darkened cavern, Kamal gazed upon a sight few men on earth have had the misfortune to behold. <gasps> And a big cake? <laughs> Probably twice the size of you. Then I am doubly glad I made them this. Hakeem, hang on! <laughs> We're caught in some kind of riptide. I'll try to steer out of it. Look, there's a ship over there! Let's signal for help! <sighs> it's too late. We're caught in the current. Tie yourself to a line! Little did our friends realize that the passing ship carried a terrifying passenger, one they would soon meet face to face. Hang on! We're going in! Yeah. <sighs> we made it, Hakeem. I hope that other ship made it out safely. I guess we have to wait for this surf to calm down before we can sail out of here. We're not going anywhere till we can patch that hole. Hopefully that pine tree will yield enough pitch to seal it. Yeah, done. Now we just have to wait till the pitch hardens. Meanwhile, Kulak and I will do some exploring. 
Let's go, Kulak. This must be here to keep people out. I bet no one's been in here for a hundred years. Maybe a few minutes ago. Maybe someone's in there. Oh, don't be such a big scaredy cat. Let's see what's inside. I wonder if anything lives in here. What? A giant centipede. Maybe exploring wasn't such a good idea after all. Oh, what am I worried about? There's nothing in here but a bunch of bugs. Ah! Hakeem, it's me! Sinbad, you should see all the statues in there! Statues? Where? Inside that cave! Hmm. Someone must have dropped this torch. Oh, someone must have been very frightened. Oh, how strange. Have you ever seen blue stone like this before? Uh-uh, never. But I seem to know this face. Whoever carved these is really good. They look so real. Too lifelike. No one can carve eyelashes in stone. No human made these statues. Then who did? Have you ever heard of the Gorgon? Gorgon? Her name is Medusa. In return for her evil ways, the gods gave her live snakes for hair. Hair made out of live snakes? Ugh. And with it, a face so terrifying that one look at it turned a person to stone. Do you really think that these are... Gorgon's handiwork. Then this is the Gorgon's cave? I'm almost certain of it. Sinbad, it's Medusa! She's coming for us! Sinbad and Hakim found danger in the cave of the Gorgon, though not the danger they expected. Those aren't from the Gorgon's hair. They're real snakes. Worse yet, Hakim, a single bite could be fatal. What are we waiting for? Don't move. Your eyes are drawn to movement. They've left. Let's do the same thing before the Gorgon finds us. Barely escaping the cave of the Gorgon, Sinbad, Hakim, and Kulak made it safely into the harbor of Kashmir. But there, another snake pit of intrigue awaited them. Just look at that fancy palace. How will we get in? Simple. We'll just walk right up to the entrance and we'll say, we're Sinbad and Hakim, and we're here to attend the royal wedding. Oh, you are, are you? Guard, what is going on? Forgive me, Khalifa. These two commoners claim they were invited to the royal wedding. Shall I make an example of them? Do so, and I'll be forced to make an example of you! Oh, Sinbad! I'd know you anywhere. Oh, it's been too many years, Azira. Oh, uh, this is my friend, Hakim. And this is my friend, Kulak. Kulak? You wretched thief! Put that back! <laughs> well, let Kulak enjoy his treat. I'm happy to share my feast with any friend of Sinbad's. Sinbad, look at these shiny shields they carry. I could shave in its reflection, if I could shave. Azira, if you are being crowned Khalifa, then something must have happened to your uncle. Yes, just last week his ship was lost at sea. I asked Ali, my betrothed, to lead a search party. Fearsome waves drowned everyone but him. Yes, the ship was destroyed. Poor, unfortunate Caliph. Oh, and my poor, unfortunate Azira. Sinbad, this is Ali, my fiancé. Sinbad was like a brother to me when we were street urchins in Baghdad. I am pleased to meet you, Ali. Frankly, I have little use for brothers. I have three older than me, which means I will inherit nothing when our dear 
father passes away, but I've outdone them all. I'm about to marry a Khalifa. If Azira were the poorest girl in Kazmir, you could count yourself fortunate. My beloved, as a token of my adoration, I had a statue of your uncle made to comfort you in your loss. is a perfect likeness, but why does he look so terrified? Sinbad, that's the same blue stone that we saw on the island of the Gar... Now, Hakim, you know well we've never seen so rare a stone as this. Where did you say it comes from, Ali? I didn't. Uh, if you'll excuse me, my precious, I must speak to the holy man about the wedding ceremony. What was that all about? I'll explain later. Get to the ship and make ready to sail immediately. Right. Kulak, let's go! Sinbad, why are you leaving? Tomorrow is my wedding day. We'll be back by then, with proof. Proof? Of what? That your intended is not all he claims to be. Sinbad, come back! What is this all about? Keep your ears wide open, Kulak. Don't let that Gorgon sneak up on us. I don't want to wind up a statue like the Caliph did. I knew I'd seen his face before. This is Kamal, the Caliph's Grand Vizier. When Azira sees this, she'll know Ali lied about what happened to her uncle. <sighs> Help me carry it to the Nimbus, Hakim. I don't understand. Why would Ali seal Kamal and these others in the cave? Because he's the one who betrayed Azira's uncle, the Caliph. You're right, Sinbad. That Ali really is bad. Yeah, worse yet, he plans to take over the throne by marrying Azira. And to think, I actually made him a wedding present. <sighs> That's the last of them. Hakeem, look. A crab turned to stone. And look, there's another one. And a turtle, and a seagull. <laughs> They must have looked at Medusa's face when she came ashore here. No, Hakim. Those creatures were all facing her as she walked towards the sea. Which means that there's not a moment to lose. We must warn Azira right away. Yeah. Warn her about what? Medusa left this island with Ali. He's the one who smuggled that snake-headed monster into Kazmir. the victims you promised me. I hunger to absorb their life force. Patience, Medusa. We cannot have people disappearing. <laughs> At least not until I'm crowned Caliph. Just remember, I eliminated your foes. I got rid of the Caliph when you tricked him into landing on my island. And I sh shall repay you. Soon I will have my hands on the Book of Prophecy. <sighs> and once you do, you will destroy it. For years it has foretold my movements, depriving me of my victims. Uh, there's just one problem. Azira's old friend, Sinbad, oh! he suspects something. What? He could ruin everything! This meddler must be dealt with. One of the palace guards is in my pay. I ordered that if he sees Sinbad return... Ugh. Sinbad will not return! Tonight he shall drown while his ship is torn to pieces!
Those harpies were sent by someone. Come on, let's fix the sails and get back to Azira. Azira, might I ask you a favor? A favor? I'd like to see the Book of Prophecy. Now, tonight. What? Only the Caliph of Kazmir may read the prophecies, and even one as wise as my uncle had trouble interpreting their meaning. I don't intend to read it, merely hold it. It would give me great pleasure. In that case, you shall, my dearest. My uncle kept its secrets well hidden. So I see. Khalifa, the guest list has been lost. We need your help. Uh, forgive me, Ali. I must see to this matter. But it was all a ploy arranged between Ali and the palace guard to get Azira out of the room. And now to see what the future holds for me. A sailor shall be turned to stone. Another will be forced to roam. A sailor turned to stone. Medusa will rid me of Sinbad. Another forced to roam. And that means I'll sell that brat Hakim to roving pirates. <laughs> oh. Oh, it was all a mistake. It's late and I must retire. You and I have a big day tomorrow. I can barely wait, my love. What's wrong? Uh, I must attend to something. Good night. Medusa, it's Sinbad! He's returned! The Book of Prophecy proclaims you will turn him to stone. And so I shall. Now, go back to the palace. And Ali, <laughs> don't look back. Hear something. Back to the Nimbus now. We're trapped like rats. Hakeem, I have an idea. Quick, get your paints. My paints? What for? No time to explain. Just do it. Oh. <laughs> uh oh, I ran out of brown. It won't matter. Just hurry. Snakehead, you looking for me? You dare to mock Medusa? Then feast your eyes on this! You know, you don't look so bad up close. Maybe if you did your snakes a little different. What? What's going on? Why are you not turning to stone? And why is one of your eyes brown and the other blue? Uh-oh. Now, Hakeem! Uh, you'll pay for this! <laughs> Hakeem, don't let go! <laughs> Ah, sending a boy to do a man's work. Hakeem, <laughs> grab her! She mustn't undo the sack! I have not yet found the statue of Sinbad. Keep looking, and if anyone tries to stop the ceremony, run him through. I am the Raja of Kulakistan. I have brought you a wedding present most rare. If your men will carry it in. Well, what are you waiting for? Hurry and bring it to me. A most wonderful statue, which I purchased in this very city this very morning. Can I be this lucky? <gasps> it's Sinbad! He's been turned to stone! Just as in the Book of Prophecy. No one can stop me now. Now hurry and say the words that will make us one old man. It is Sinbad! And he's alive! Yes, with some of Hakim's clay and paint to get past Ali's guards. Ali thought he'd turn me to stone because he's the one who brought Medusa here to Kazmir. <gasps> Medusa! And the statue of my uncle is my uncle? Very much so. I mean, it sure is. Azira, this is all a pack of lies. On the deck of my ship is Kamal, along with the others that Ali betrayed and led to Medusa, and the Gargon herself. I knew Ali's scheme would never work. After him, Kulak! You won't catch me so easily! If I can't rule this country, then no one shall! Delightful! A 
an entire city turned to stone. Their lives are now mine, and I will live forever! <laughs> so, one last living creature to add to my sculpture garden. Look at me! I command you! Look at yourself, if you can stand it! No! brave deeds and your noble heart, you have earned the right to glimpse your destiny. Thank you, Khalif. Found by pirates, they spared his neck, but sentenced him to scrub their deck. That sounds like Ali. Sinbad became like stone, so Ali's the one who'll be forced to roam. And I say, good riddance! Wazira, well, I guess I should apologize for ruining your wedding. No, Sinbad. You saved me from a terrible fate and returned my beloved uncle to me. The Book of Prophecy was indeed accurate. Pirates did force Ali into a lifetime of hard labor. A proper reward for his cruel ambition. As for the Gorgon, it is now quite safe to gaze on her features.